Are you using the Arduino keyboard library and you're trying to figure out how to do key combinations so you can do some type of keyboard shortcut? So basically you can have your Arduino board like copy something, maybe like, you know, command shift C and then maybe paste it, command shift V or whatever hot key combination you're trying to achieve with your Arduino board. You're trying to figure out how to do that. Well, in this lesson, we're going to walk through a simple example of combining some key presses in order to do one of those hot key functions on a computer. Now, we also have another video about using the keyboard library. We'll make sure to link to that video in the description, but this video is gonna get specific on key press combinations. Now, the reason we're making this video is because one of our YouTube subscribers had a follow-on question from that previous video, and I'm just trying to answer it as best as I can. All right, let's get started. Well, before we dive in, I'd really appreciate if you could take a moment and click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you but a click, but it really helps us grow our YouTube channel and bring you great content like this. All right, so here I am in a blank sketch, and what I wanna do is write some code that is gonna copy a line of text, and then it's gonna paste that line of text directly after that line, all right? So basically, let's say I've got a line of text here, and I wanna write a program for my Arduino and just so we're clear, we're talking about an Arduino that can simulate a USB device. And that's not all Arduinos, like an Arduino Uno can't do that, but an Arduino Leonardo can, for example. So I wanna write a program where I can put my cursor somewhere. And what this program will do is highlight all the text to the right of the cursor on a single line. It'll copy that line using Command C or Control C. It'll arrow down to the next line, and then it will press Command or control V to paste that line. So that's, I wanna write a program that's gonna do that. You know, all obviously all hands off, the Arduino is gonna do it for me. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is include the keyboard library. So let me do that. All right, so the keyboard library is included and then I just threw the setup and the loop in here. If you don't have setup and loop, you can't compile the program. And just about after every line of code I write, I like to, do a verify, you know, compile the program just to make sure I haven't done any errors. So go ahead and verify it now. All right, it's done compiling. So, so far I haven't screwed anything up. That's good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do in setup is a little precautionary thing, right? Because what happens when you start telling your computer to emulate the keyboard and let's say you tell it to copy and paste stuff, well, it does that really, really, really super fast. And if you're not careful, you can end up in a situation where anytime you plug in your Arduino board, it starts copying, pasting code really quick and it's hard to like get a new sketch on there to stop that behavior. So I'm gonna do something that a viewer actually recommended, which was just put a delay in the setup. That way, anytime you plug in the board, power goes on to it, you're gonna have five seconds of nothing happening so you can you know upload a, a blank sketch or something like that. So here we go. You probably know that pretty much everything you do online is getting tracked. From what YouTube videos you're watching to where you're going online, somebody's got access to that. But you may not know how easy it is to protect your privacy, secure all that browsing data, and access content that otherwise wouldn't be available in your location using a virtual private network like private internet access. All you have to do to set up a VPN is sign up, download some software, do a super easy install and that's it. So when you do this and set up your VPN, your internet service provider or the network admin can't log on or store any of your browsing data and the information is unreadable and untraceable. If you wanna get set up with your own VPN through private internet access and support our channel, use the link in the description and you can get 82% off their service plus an extra three months. Just use that link below to set up your own VPN through private internet access. It's super easy, and you'll be able to support this channel at the same time. All right, so now here I am in the loop, and what I wanna do, like I said, is I wanna take, I wanna be able to put my cursor right here, and when I plug in my Arduino board, and again, I'm using Arduino Leonardo, what I wanna have happen is I want this line of code to be highlighted, I want then on the next line after it, I want this line pasted in. And I only want that to happen once. So what I'm gonna do in loop is I'm gonna set up some control flow. I'm gonna use an if statement and a 
flag variable so that this only happens once. So let me do that. All right, so I have this little control flow here. Again, I only want this if statement. I only want the code in here to execute once and that's doing it. I won't go into like how this works. We have some other videos on control flow. If you really wanna dive into this stuff, make sure to check out our website, programmingelectronics.com. We've got all types of training available for learning this kind of thing. All right, okay, so basically we come into the loop and we're gonna run some code once. Well, what code is it we're gonna run? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna highlight this line of code. So how would I, like what keyboard keys do I have to press in order to highlight it? Well, right now I'm developing on a Mac and to do that, I would do shift command right arrow like that. So if I press shift and then I press command and then right arrow, it highlights that entire line. And for a PC, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be shift control right arrow. So I gotta find a way to do that keyboard combination. So let me do that and we'll talk about it. Okay, so I've got this code right here to do this highlight command. So basically, you know, I'll have my cursor right here and I wanna press the shift key and I'm developing on a Mac, so I wanna press the command key this, uh, this whole key right here is how you press the command key on the Mac. And then I wanna press the right arrow key. And uh, this key right here is how you do that, this um, code right here, key right arrow. So keyboard press is gonna press and hold this button. It's not gonna release it. It's gonna press and hold this button. It's not gonna release it. And it's gonna press and hold this button. And it's not gonna release it. And then when all of those buttons are pressed, that is when you know that hotkey action is initiated on the operating system. So it's gonna simulate, so here's my cursor up here. Uh, now I'm pressing shift, I'm pressing command, and now I'm pressing right arrow, and now you can see that entire line highlights. And that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. But I want to have my computer do it. And then after that, I wanna release all those keys. So in order to release the keys, you need to have a command that does that, right? So again, if you just press it, it's gonna press and hold. You need the release or release all command. In this case, I'm just doing release all because it's convenient. I could do, you know, release key left shift, release key left GUI, release key right arrow, you know, but it, that would be like three lines of code. So here we go. I'm just using the release all function. Now you might be like, Mike, this is cool, but where'd you get uh, these key codes? Well, I went to my favorite page on the internet and that is the Arduino reference page. And I went to the keyboard library page and then the keyboard library page has a reference to keyboard modifiers. So keyboard modifiers and special keys. And this tells me these little codes, these little keys I need in order to press different buttons on my keyboard, which is pretty sweet. So. I am on a Mac right now. I love PCs too, but I happen to be developing on a Mac. And so if I wanna press that command key, which is a very common key if you develop with Macs, then I need to use this code, key left GUI, or I suppose I could use this one, key right GUI. There's two command keys on a, a typical Mac keyboard. And so that's where I got that. If I wanted to press the down arrow, I think there's a, yeah, here we go. See, look at that key down arrow. But you can see if there's, you know, those different keys that you want to press that aren't like the letters, then uh, there's tons of different codes on here. Now, if you were on a PC or, you know, I was trying to do this for a PC and I wanted to highlight that line of code, I'd need that control key. So this would just be key right control instead of, you know, key left GUI in this keyboard combination. Okay, so I think you get the idea. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to copy that line of code. So let me write some code to do that and we'll talk about it. All right, so now what I wanna do is, once I have this line highlighted, now what I wanna do is the hotkey to actually copy it. So on a Mac, that would be Command C. So the way I do that in the code is I'm just using the press function from the keyboard library. I'm calling that key left GUI again, 
which is the command key on the Mac. And then I'm doing a keyboard dot right. And this is how I'm gonna press an actual key and single quotes. And I'm just pressing C. And then I do a release all. Now, one thing I should have done is tested this first little bit right here before I moved on to this second little bit. A little behind the scenes secret though, I've already written all this code. I'm just kind of rewriting it as I think through it some more. But anyway, so let me just, let's just check. You should always be checking your code every step of the way to make sure you haven't screwed something up, right? Like I really should have checked this uh, little protection up here first and I should have, you know, checked all of this. I mean, that's just a habit you need to be into when you're coding is constantly checking what you're writing. That way you can kind of stay on top of the errors you make. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cursor right here. I'm gonna upload this to my Arduino Leonardo. And what I should expect to see is this line highlighted. And then we're pressing the copy key, so I really won't see anything there. But And also, we'll uh, we'll speed up through this delay so we don't have to wait this delay. And I do note, you'll notice I put these delays right here. This is just so we can kind of see, quote unquote, see things happening, right? All right, so let's do it. So upload the code. And now it copied. All right, so that's good. Now, what's good, you can notice as I move my cursor around, other stuff isn't highlighting, so that tells me at least roughly that this uh, copied flag is doing its job and, and that's this code is only happening once. Okay, so now what we wanna do is I wanna press the down arrow. So I'm gonna do copy that, press the down arrow, and then I'm gonna paste it in. So I'm gonna do the down arrow and paste it in next and then uh, we'll talk about that. But based on what we've done so far, I think you probably have an idea of how we'd pull this off. So, you know, think about how, how you might do it and then just watch me do it here real quick. All right, so now I wrote some code to move the cursor down one line. Essentially, I'm just pressing the down arrow. So the press function from the keyboard library with the key down arrow, release it, delay just so we can kind of see it. And then now I wanna copy the code. So on a Mac, that's Command C. Again, if you're on a PC, you'd use that different key for control, just using Control C to paste what's on the clipboard. Then I wanna paste that line. So on a Mac, you're gonna use Command plus V. On a PC, it's Control plus V. So I'm just using the press function and then I'm using the write function to actually write that letter. And again, you know, we're emulating a keyboard with our Arduino board. That's, you know, the whole idea here. And so then we're gonna release all and then delay. All right, so hopefully this is all clear. Let's see if it actually works. I'm gonna put my cursor right up here. It's on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. Should highlight the line. Then we copy it. We move down one line and we paste it. All right, sweet. And we've got that all automated, you know, in our code using this keyboard library. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. Hope you see how you can do these different keyboard shortcuts or keyboard combination presses and stuff. And hopefully this is clear. If you're really enjoying this uh, Arduino programming stuff, make sure to check out our website, programmingelectronics.com. We have a training program that can really help get you up to speed pretty darn quick learning how to program with Arduino. Also, before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, please do like it. If you've got some questions, leave them in the comments. We do read them all and try to do our best to answer them. Thanks a ton. Have a great one. Bye.